that's the case. Any example in homework problem, you can still even know about what that is. So therefore, heck, forgive me for answering it. The answer is no. That you do have to have some knowledge of what things look like. And they even describe it to you, even in the book. They even give you a picture. I even want to give you a picture. So what's happening is you do have to be aware of a lot of things in this world, of different things. And that comes with the territory. Because if your other side of that is, if you're given for not, then you can't, you know, you're really narrowing what you can do, and then it's meaning you can apply different areas. So when I joke, and I always joke, and you guys start laughing, I say, go to the 99 cent store and do what? Get a deck of cards, look at it. <laughs> He's laughing, I'm so funny. He's not going to the 99 cent store and get a deck of cards. I'm really sort of serious. Meaning that if you, don't, if you don't buy it, that's okay. But if you know it, that's what the point is. So even get a picture of cards, do that. Help yourself. And that's the deal. So you have to know what some of those things look like. Uh, it just comes with the territory. Uh, roulette wheels, you see that's written in the book. They'll give you a picture of a roulette wheel. That happens too. Uh, but yeah, the deck of cards is somewhat, should somewhat be standard. In the sense that it's not that anybody expects you to gamble or is even encouraging you to gamble. But you do got to know what a deck of cards look like. You know, because this starts to get, you know, I, without going into more detail. You see the point? You guys see the point? No? What do you think? Right? Moshi, you know what the deck of, deck of cards look like? You do? How's that? Do you gamble? No. He knows what the deck of cards look like. Okay? You guys okay with that? Yeah, it's actually, yeah. I mean, that's, that's the answer I've always given to that sort of thing is go look at, look at a deck of cards, you know, because it's such a rich environment to ask probability questions, which is why they, they if you look at it. This is why they give you the example. Look, there's a whole lot going on here that I'm about to talk about to point some details, some tools. And that's why this is a very good, um, um, you know, thing to have. Yeah, what do you to have on your formula sheet? <laughs> good. Good. Yeah. Okay, what about this stuff? I mean, because if we said, oh, I'm not having children, let alone girls. <laughs> what do I care about likelihood of having girls? I don't even want any kids. See what I mean? Which would you rather have, boys or girls? What? Neither. <laughs> Did I hear that, or am I just hearing anything? Would you rather have boys or girls? Heads? That mean, huh? Is there another? Did I miss the joke? You rather have boys or girls? Hmm? I say, girls. Girls. If I had all daughters. I'd be happy. Just give me twenty daughters. I'm happy. I could deal with that. Would sons be easier? Probably. Sons, sons are going to jump on that table and they're going to jump off. That hurts himself. Daughters are what? They're going to be so sweet, so nice. They'll say, Daddy, yeah, can I help you clean up that table? I'll say, of course, sweetheart, you can do that. You see the difference? Daughters are, if you treat them right, oh, they'll take care of you forever. Sons, they're going to come around with any money. Your daughters, you treat right, they're, they're going to be there forever. So I'd rather have girls rather than daughters. I wish I had 20. Take care of her. Daughters are nice. All right, let's look at the situation in more detail, right? Three girls. It's not 20, but three. Okay? Not 23. We have to generate the sample space for having three children. And maybe in the sense of having two children, that was easy to do. Is that right? We just wrote it down. But how are you going to do with how are you going to do this with three children? What you're going to do? You draw. You draw what's known as a tree diagram. Okay, a tree diagram. Okay, and this is what you're going to do. You're going to start here. Now, you're going to have your children, okay? Now, when you have your first child, what are the different possible sex outcomes that you can have? You can have a what? 
A boy, or you can have a what? Girl. True? This is for the first child. Okay? The first child. You with me on that? Now when you go and you have the second child, irregardless of what you had first, you can have a what? Boy, or you can have a what? Girl. So if you have a boy first, now you can have the second child by the boy or girl again. Is that right? Or if you had a girl first, you have your second child, what can you have? A boy or a what? A girl again. So this set outcome corresponds to having the second child. You with that? Now we're going to have the third child. When you have the third child, you can have either a what? Boy or a girl. Is that true? Which one of the situations you had prior? So this set of outcomes corresponds to having the third child. Now, what does this mean? If you follow the branches of your tree, follow the branches, you generate three possible outcomes for having three children. So that this is BBB, BBG, okay, BGB, BG. GBB, GBG, GGB, and finally what? GGG. You guys have just generated the sample space, okay? This is every possible outcome associated with having three children. Okay? You guys have any more questions on what we just did? So if you practice this problem prior to the break, right, and you're going crazy, how can you have a possible outcome? Anybody here going crazy doing that? You sure? Not, not a single person went crazy trying to generate the outcomes? You guys all knew this? Did you do the problem? Eddie, I'm talking. Huh? I gave up my Friday training things to be here to teach statistics. You know that? What do I need to train? I don't know. You never know. You guys all did this already? You already knew how to do it? Hey, okay, here's the thing. Before we left to break, I banked on the fact that some of you probably didn't know how to do this, and that's okay. I want you to, I want you to do that, go through that exercise. I want you to look at this and say, hmm, I can't do it. If you know how to do it, good, you're already there. But if you're not, that's acceptable. So that now that you see how to do it, what's supposed to happen? Good. I can remember this, I know how to do it, and I can apply, apply to certain situations now. So that's why you want to work on problems during break. Okay? So, fine. This is the list of all possible outcomes. Notice the question. I'm going to put a note over here. Let's go through this. Let's know. The question is asking you, how many, or what's the likelihood of having girls? Is that true? Right? Isn't that the question over there? How many girls are associated with this outcome here? What's the number of girls here? That first outcome, how many girls? Can you guys tell me? How many girls are associated here? Zero, good. How many girls here? Good. If you have a BGB, how many girls? Good. BGG, how many girls? GBB, how many girls? GBG. GGB. GGG. 